just like my lovely mustache, Moby Flight continues to grow and mature. Today I'm going to show you the difference between old Moby Flight right here and new Moby Flight right here. This I believe is version like 7 and this is the latest beta version 9.5.0.5. So out of the gate, you'll see that this is a lot smaller by default. If we go into MobiFlight modules, uh, everything will look pretty similar. Um, it's a little more user friendly. Um, the only difference between this checkbox and this checkbox is the re renaming of it to make it a little less confusing. And you can also like ignore a COM port, say like you want to ignore COM port. Uh, 552 because that's your uh, your robotic coffee maker and you don't want to confuse it um, you can ignore com ports this is different than the path to Arduino IDE here just ignore that completely now Arduino IDE is baked into MobiFlight <laughs> baked into the fiber so this is all through here you can just click the MobiFlight modules button you don't have to go to extra settings uh, that button is awesome, I love it so much. Under output configs, um, we'll just show you something a little bit different. Um, the outputs look stranger. Ah, I don't know if we can handle new things. If you click edit, uh, you'll immediately see this looks far different than what we're used to here. Don't worry, I have a fix for you. Um, just click that button and you can follow along with the tutorials it'll be all dandy um, but there's an easier way than these buttons and these codes and these numbers and like finding what type of value uh, what type of data you're dealing with and then putting it in a certain size and then sometimes even masking it <laughs> oh my gosh and like clearing certain ones and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that. Oh, man. Oof. Now, there's a better way to do it. Uh, things are separated into their own events and stuff, so you don't have to do that for, like, landing lights and stuff. You can now just search landing light. Oop. Ah, there we go. Right here. Um, and you can just search light in general. That's a little broad. But uh, you can look through these. Light taxi, light strobe. So you have all of these right here you can deal with, um, which is pretty awesome. As opposed to going onto this spreadsheet online or going through your directory and finding the magical spreadsheet that was filled with all of your FSU IPC offsets and craziness like that. Um, it's so much easier to just search it here. So I recommend this for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, um, and I recommend the X-Plane version right here that just got added for X-Plane. So you can search light, and you get a thousand results this time. Um, landing light, now you have 28 results. So, oh, let's go landing lights on um, right here. You can do all of these. Yeah, switch zero or one. So I really recommend using these um, instead of this. You also now have variables, which are fun. You can read them here in output, and you can write them in input. So if we go under, oh, got to name it. Ah, spooky season, right? Um, so we can name it right here. and use your Arduino that's connected to a switch or however you do it. Um, and then you have all of these lists here. This is considerably different than it was before. Uh, you have Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 um, with all of with the same dialogue, same user friendliness. Pedo heat, let's say. Um, and then you also have X-Plane right here Zoom. and uh, you have MobiFlight variables which you can write here you can name them and then set a value to it so maybe once you press that button the variable sets a value to 80 which gets read under output 
Alright, so this is all of the newest stuff in Moby Flight. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Hopefully it can oh, make the old tutorials useful. Thank you so much for watching. Have an absolutely fantabulous week. Thank you so much to the patrons and Al Altimeter Motives and all of the people and... What's up? All of the people who make this video work possible. Uh, with that, have a fantabulous rest of your day and have a good one.